welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys some of the ways that I personally like to use my rose water. And rose water is a very natural and pure gift from nature, I feel, because it's a very, very simple product containing only water and rose petals. But it can do a ton of good things for your skin and for your hair. So it is filled with vitamins, it is anti-inflammatory in nature, it is antibacterial, and it also has skin balancing properties in it. The rose water I normally use is this one by Patanjali and it's called the Divya Gulab Gel. And uh, this one is like I think the most affordable rose water option here in India and it's also one of the purest because at the back here it says you can also use this rose water as an eye drop inside your eyes. So when I saw that I was like okay if it's safe enough to use inside my eyes then it should definitely be safe enough to use on top of my skin. So yeah if you're interested to see how I use my rose water then keep on watching so I've been using rose water as a toner for a very very long time now I've been using it since I was a very young teenager when I was in school because I was suffering from a lot of acne especially on the center of my forehead that's when one of my cousins recommended me to try out rose water as a toner so every time after I cleanse my face I just take some of the rose water on my cotton pad and just sweep that over my skin and it just really deeply cleanses my skin because even today when I use rose water as a toner I feel like it removes the excess dirt or residue of makeup that is still on your face after cleansing your face and it also deeply cleans my pores and tightens them up so really really love that and since rose water has great skin balancing properties you can use it in spite of having an oily or dry skin if you have an oily and a very acne prone skin then it has antibacterial properties in it so it can really help you to uh, get rid of your acne and if you have dry skin Rose water is great for dry to sensitive to um you know, in case you have a very itchy or flaky skin, it can be wonders for you because rose water has hydrating properties and it is also anti-inflammatory so it can really help to calm down your skin and also hydrate your skin at the same time. During the summertime, I get crazy over face mist. I totally love face mist, and you know, I've tried so many different brands of face mist, but recently I learned how to make my own face mist using only water and rose water. So, what I do is I just take an empty spray bottle like this. You can just get these kind of bottles in any departmental store, and then I fill about two thirds of the bottle with just plain water, but make sure it's filtered or distilled. Don't use a tap water because it can contain some germs and bacteria. In it. Then I take my rose water and fill the rest of the bottle. Just give it a good shake and you have your own DIY facial mist. And trust me guys, this is the most refreshing face mist I've ever used on myself because the scent of roses is just so fresh and it's just very refreshing. And rose water is also really really cooling so whenever I spray some on my face, my skin feels so so cool and leaves my skin feeling hydrated without feeling greasy or oily. So it's a great facial mist for the summers so I use rose water after wearing my makeup but I wouldn't promise you that rose water spray can help your makeup to last longer I don't see any uh, such effect but it definitely takes away the powderiness and cakiness of your makeup and makes your makeup look much more natural and much more dewy so I love using rose water after applying my makeup because it just kind of sets my makeup and it just makes the makeup look much more dewy and glowy Rose water is very very soothing on the skin because like I said it has anti-inflammatory properties which means it is really really cooling on the skin so I just go ahead and spray some rose water over those sunburnt areas and I feel it really cools down my skin and it kind of heals my sunburns a lot more faster and you can also use rose water as an aftershave treatment because every time after shaving my legs I feel like my legs are left feeling kind of itchy and kind of flaky and dry so 
after shaving, I just go ahead and spray some rose water over my legs and my skin instantly feels a lot more cooler and it also feels a lot more softer and supple. And one tip is to always have at least one rose water bottle inside your fridge because that way the rose water gets really really cool and chilled so it doubles up the cooling effects of the rose water and it is such a wonderful feeling to spray that chilled rose water on your face or on any areas that you have been sunburned. absolutely love using rose water as an eye drop because it has deeply cleansing properties so I feel it really gets rid of all the dirt and gunk especially when I remove my makeup I feel like there is something stuck inside my eyes all the time so I go ahead and add about one to two drops of the rose water inside my eyes and it just gets rid of all the dirt and gunk and any makeup residue that is inside your eyes and I also wear contact lenses so my eyes are left feeling dry most of the time so I feel rose water can help me combat the dryness and just bring back the hydration inside my eyes. don't use mascaras for a long period of time they tend to dry up in the tube and then when you try to apply it it gets very very clumpy and it's not a very good look just go ahead and take one to two drops of the rose water and just add it inside your mascara and then just give it a good shake and this really helps to bring back your mascara to life water also makes a very good base for face masks and I especially love using it when I'm using a face mask that is meant for oily skin because face masks that have clay or any sort of powders in it can really leave the skin feeling very dry but when you add rose water in it the rose water brings back the hydration and it leaves your skin feeling soft and supple Rose water is also very beneficial for your hair, especially if you are someone who suffers from dandruff or in case you have a very itchy and a very sensitive scalp, then all you need to do is just take some of the rose water spray and spray it all over your scalp. You can do this before you take a shower or straight after your shower as well. So if you have a very sensitive and very itchy scalp, then this would really soothe your scalp. And if you have a lot of dandruff, then rose water is very hydrating so it really hydrates and deeply conditions your scalp and it really helps in reducing dandruff you can also give your hair a rose water rinse so what I like to do is after washing and rinsing my hair normally I just take a mug of water and then I add about one uh, cap of the rose water into the mug and then I give myself a final rinse and giving your hair a rose water rinse can really help to condition your both your scalp as well as your hair and it can also leave your hair feeling and smelling very very fresh and rose water can also be used for aromatherapy purposes because roses just smell really nice they have very sweet and refreshing smell that kind of calms down my senses so what I like to do is whenever I'm taking a bath I just add about one to two caps of this rose water into my bath and you can also get all fancy and add some rose petals into your bath just to uh, you know lighten up the mood a bit and the scent of roses just helps me to unwind like it just makes me feel very relaxed and it just really calms my senses so I absolutely love doing the rose water bath and to go to that extra level you can also try Try using a rose soap and I have a personal favorite and this one is also by uh, Patanjali it is called the rose kanti it's not only very soft creamy and not at all drying but at the same time the scent of this like it smells so so delicious it smells like a thousand roses just take a used up uh, spray bottle and fill it up with some rose water and leave this in my bathroom so on days when I'm just having a regular shower after taking the shower I just towel dry my body and then I go ahead and spray some of the rose water all over my body and I focus mostly on the areas around my armpits and on my chest especially on areas where I sweat a lot because not only does rose water leave these areas uh, smelling fresh for a longer period of time but it's also antibacterial so so it is kind of like a natural deodorant in some way. So those are some of the ways how I like to use my rose water. And in case you guys have some other interesting ways how you use your rose water, then I would love to know that 
please let me know down in the comment section and if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so i will see you all in my next one bye